Hailing all the way from the People's Republic of New York City, where handguns are almost as scary as ivermectin, is our novice shooter, Kevin. I voted for AOC. Oh, God. <laughs> what? I originally researched and was going to buy this gun. This is a Walther P22. And then Carl bought it Hi. before I bought it. Carl, are you gonna be in this video? I'm standing right here. Good. I wanted something that was gonna be an easy beginner gun to shoot. And then Carl got rid of it and by selling it to me. So now I got it. And now we're gonna <laughs> give it to Kevin. And we're gonna see how Kevin likes shooting this first before we move up to bigger guns. This is a gun. Yes. These are the bullets, they go in the magazine. It always points down range. Magazine release. Safety's on, Red ready, head. safety's off. Slide release. Don't shoot the camera. You line the three, dot, three dots yep. up in a single line. Correct. You want first digit, like in the middle of the first digit there. Pad okay. of your finger. Pad of your finger. Carl taught me this part too. I line up my thumbs like yeah. this, right? Make them hump each other. I'm gonna try to not anticipate the shot. A lot of people will say like, all right, here I go. And, and see how it went off while I was still saying squeeze? Yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't know when that was gonna go off. Oh, Kevin, do you wanna be timed? Yeah. Kevin wants to be timed. All right. Kevin, can you get in the freaking shot if you wanna talk? No, Kevin. You're a novice, you stand there. Okay, good enough. And you're done. 7.02, not bad, Kevin. Yeah. You got- Did I hit anything? You got three of them. Damn, two misses. How did you feel about this as being like the novice handgun that you were gonna start with? Yeah, I was telling Carl, it was kind of like uh, my expected experience after watching TV and movies of just okay. like, you know, bang. It went ding. Yeah. <laughs> so it did exactly what you wanted it to do. Yes. We got two guns here, two nines. We got a Glock and we got a Koenig. I guess pick your poison. All right, well, you got the Glock. Yeah, I got yeah, the Glock right. mag right there. All right, all right. So All right, go for it. Line it up. And then this is single action, so it's just the... All right, up to 45s? 245, two 1911s. One is the commander, one is more the GI one. When you, when you rack this one, just be careful with yeah, this. Yeah, those, those, those get me every time. Don't be gentle with it, it's a gun. I even have the grip for it. There right? you go. You all right? Boom! That's right. I would say, like, even though we have ear protection, these are noticeably louder. Yes. Yeah. So you started with a 22, you went up to a 9, and now you're at a 45. There's a little bit of a difference. Yeah. I would say, like, for the 45 and the 9, like, with the recoil, it's like, oh, I'm shooting a gun. <laughs> yeah. 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 So like, I should be careful yeah. with this thing. Yeah. So maybe with the 22, it's just like, it didn't feel like as powerful. Where would you rather start? So I think like- If you could go back. Maybe starting with the nine or the 45 to be like, oh, like wake up call, then get into the 22. It's just like, oh, okay. Like I can manage this. I think the opposite, right? Yeah. But it's because I have experience with guns. Anytime I go to the range, I start with a light caliber yeah. to make sure I have my fundamentals down. Yeah. And then I move to a higher level. Right. But you're saying that you need to focus on the fact that this is something that has recoil that I right. need to manage, that is something that is dangerous, that needs to remain down range. All of those things right. are the primary things you're thinking about. Yeah, because like when you're shooting the 45, like you get the recoil, it can go in any different direction. Yeah. And so it's just like, oh, I have to be far more aware of like my grip and like where my hands are and everything like that. That is massive insight that I legitimately never thought of. Science experiment time. What are we doing, Kevin? Shooting stuff, specifically. Milk jugs with water in it. We are looking at the penetrating power of a 22 handgun versus a 22 rifle. By shooting stuff. Did I miss? Uh, probably. Yeah, let's go again. Still missed. 
High? Uh, high into the right. There you go. That was very low. All right, well, you know, I'm very proficient with a handgun. <laughs> Obviously, which is why we made you take the shot. All right, if this one doesn't work, it's because you didn't zero this. Sure it is. That's a bingo. Your zero is off to the left, Carl. I'm blaming that one on you. The first one that actually had water in it, it blew up. I heard something in there. Maybe it's just ice. Oh, hey, Kevin, we found a bullet. Sweet. Do you want it? You can take yeah. it back to New York with you, get a felony charge. So that science experiment failed. Science. And it's Carl's fault because he didn't sight in no, his red dot. No, Scott at shooting. To verify that, we're gonna look at paper targets. You're gonna shoot the one all the way to the right? The right. There you go, that's high to the left. <laughs> nice. There you go. Way to finish, guys. Yeah, that was a great finish. Now we'll see how Carl does. Wow. Woohoo! I shot the best. I shot the best. I shot the best. Lies. Two amazing things happened today. Kevin got to shoot a bunch of stuff, and I shot better than Carl at handguns. For the first time ever. He shoots way more handguns than I do. What'd you think? Yeah, they're fun. Yeah? I always have fun shooting. It's awesome. Scott sucks. I just want to say. Screw you, Carl. Everybody have a great day. Like and subscribe. We're going to keep going through 22s. Sweet. Any, any good shots is just fancy editing.